Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again with yet another tutorial. As you know aliens have been abducting people in Fortnite and seem to be coming to the island. So I thought it would be appropriate to make an alien related tutorial. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Hope you enjoy. Here are the parts you'll be needing. These two rock types, these trees and a bush. I'll explain the rift later on in the video. And a UFO. I won't show you how to make one so get creative. ATX made this UFO so check them out in the description. For this tutorial, I made some quick terrain to put my crashed UFO onto it. You want to rotate your UFO like I do here into the ground because it has crashed. I placed mine too far into the ground so I'm going to change it quickly. Pretty cool. Select this rock piece. This will be used to show the broken dug up terrain from the crash. The shape of this rock works really well. Now mess around with resizing this piece. You can copy what I do, or do it however you like. I recommend resizing the piece how I do here. This allows us to get the right shape for our crash terrain, and filling more space with less parts saves memory. Feel free to make the crash site larger or smaller. It all really depends on what you want to make. Now take the rock piece and shrink it down. We're going to create extra dirt detail because it currently looks boring and empty. Like I do, place and spread out the piece whilst mixing it into the terrain and the dirt dug up. Things like this really make your build look better and more detailed, just by adding some extra dirt. Now I'm resizing the pieces behind the UFO. This also stops the player getting under the UFO. I think I accidentally overcrowded this area so I'm simply going to remove a piece. Onto the next rock piece. We will use this for broken terrain piles from the impact of the crash. It also adds depth and detail to the design. You want to have the piece be rotated away from the UFO wherever it's placed. And feel free to mess around with size. You'll notice I shrunk it a couple times to get even more broken dirt and terrain. Our crashed UFO is starting to look nice. Onto the nature. This is a very simple step. Just make sure you do what I do. I'm going to take my tree. Rotate it away from the UFO and place it so that it looks like the UFO really has crashed. You can use whatever trees you like. I just chose these two for the tutorial, and because they look nice together. Now take the large bush. We're going to place this around the broken dirt because it adds nice grassy detail. Again making it seem more like a crash site. Mess around with how much you want to place. I'm keeping it simple because bushes take up more memory than most trees. And just like the other trees we placed, you want to do the same with this tree. Keep it rotated away from the UFO, and don't overcrowd them. Our UFO looks epic. Now onto the rift. This step isn't required, but I personally like the idea of it. You want to make the rift big, and copy what I do to the rift settings here. This will now leave us with floating rift particles. Now if your UFO has came through a rift and crashed into the island, you definitely want to do this. Spread the effect out over the crash. And you'll see the rift particles float around it and even show a glow. This is really cool. Quickly added some more nature around it and that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you create any UFO builds, join the discord in the description and post them there. Subscribe and like for more content and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.